Another condition that can cause white QRS complex is that when there is an accessory pathway, like in um, Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome. So there is an accessory pathway that is communicating the atrium and also the ventricle. So now what happened is instead of the impulses wait here at the AV node to travel to the ventricle, this accessory pathway provide a pathway for the impulse to go to the ventricle directly. So now the impulse is traveling here. And this impulse will cause depolarization of the nearby muscles. So this nearby muscle will start depolarizing. Okay. And then if the AV node is good, is function normally, then after a while the AV node will release the impulse to the ventricle. And because it used the highway, it will go here very fast. And then it will reach to this area. So what happened? This area will be depolarized by the impulse coming from the AV node, which is a normal impulse. And because of this area already depolarized, so the impulse from the accessory pathway cannot propagate because the area here will go through absolute refractory period, meaning that the cardiac muscles there already stun and cannot be stimulated by any impulse. So the impulse from the accessory pathway will be terminated. So it will stop here. On the ECG, we can see there's a P wave, PR interval, and then because this area already depolarized, we can see a premature upwards wave here. And then after a while, the normal QRS complex will merge. Like this. So we can see there's a wave here. This is what we call delta wave, which is seen in Wolf Parkinson White. However, if there is any block to the AV node, let's say this patient is taking AV node blocking agent like A adenosine, B beta blocker, C calcium channel blocker, D digoxin. So this drug can actually delay, increase the delay in the AV node conduction. So when this happens, the impulse from this accessory pathway will continue to propagate. And now it's not going to be stopped by the AV node impulse. So what happened? Instead of seeing a delta wave here, it will become a full-blown broad QRS complex. Another condition in which the QRS can be broadened is that when there is any delay in the conduction system. This may be caused by other drugs like sodium channel blocker, toxicity. So in this case, all the impulses will be delayed so we can see a broad QRS complex. There is also another condition in which the QRS is broad and the impulse does not come from the supraventricular region. And this is what happened in ventricular ectopics. So let's say there's one time there's one cell here in the ventricle become very active. So we know some, sometimes the cell can be sick and they can actually produce its own impulse and become a pacemaker. So when there is an impulse generated from the ventricular cells, this impulse will travel through the myocardium. So when it travels through the myocardium, the time taken will be longer. So that's why the QRS complex will be brought. So that's why we can see something like this. So let's say this ventricular ectopic decide to be more active and produce more impulse, then instead of ventricular ectopics, it can become ventricular tachycardia. And this situation is very dangerous.